My name is Jeffrey Griffiths. I'm an undergrad student here at Brigham Young University. I'm currently taking a class called Dynamic Optimization from Dr. John Hedengrin in the Chemical Engineering Department. And so for this class, I've had a term project where I've worked on uh, this little board right here. It's an Arduino microcontroller. And its objective is to control the temperature of two different little thermistors. And so basically the setup is that it has a input right there, or an output to a USB drive that you can connect to your computer with. It's got an input voltage um, right there that you plug your little five volt um, adapter into. And then it's got this breadboard on top here. And on this breadboard, there are two transistors right here that when, when you apply a current, they heat up. And then inside them, you can kind of see little thermistors that change temperature as the, the transistors change. And then the Arduino controller is able to record those changes in voltage as uh, temperature changes. And so the objective of this is to be able to control these, the temperature of these thermistors to a desired set point. And this is all done through a MATLAB interface. And so throughout the course of this term, as I've learned about um, moving horizon estimators and model predictive controllers, I've been able to take that and implement it into this Arduino board and create a, an estimator that takes, um, takes recorded data, the temperature and the output voltage and estimates certain parameters in a model um, that, that I've created for this. And then also I've made a model predictive controller that takes that model with those parameters and adjusts the output voltage to either one of these transistors in order to obtain a desired set point. So part of this project has been designing a, a moving horizon estimator um, in order to obtain valuable information to um, input into a controller. And so a moving horizon estimator is a means by which you can estimate certain, certain values for a dynamic system. And so in this case, I'm using a first order plus dead time model to, um, yeah, to model this system of the two transistors and two thermistors. And so with that, there are certain parameters, such as time constants. There's two time constants that deal with both of these. And then there's four gain constants that deal with how either one of these transistors um, reacts to different voltage inputs for, um, for either one of the transistors. So you've got a, a gain that deals with the transistor one with the output one and the output two voltages, and then one for transistor two um, for the output one, output two. And so that's four, four gains that I'm working with. And so basically what a, what a moving horizon estimator does is it takes that model and compares what parameters, you, what values for those parameters you already have. And it um, inputs those into the model and compares that to where, um, compares the actual data to where your model says you should be. And it uses that difference to recalculate those parameters to come up with better parameters that better suit your, suit your system. And so there's oftentimes model mismatch because you can't have a perfect model. And so what that does is it helps, um, what the estimator does is it helps make up for that mismatch. and helps make your model as accurate as possible so that you can use it um, to create a controller or for other applications. All right, and so another part of this project has been creating a model predictive controller um, to be able to hit an objective set point uh, for temperature, set point temperature for either one of these thermistors that are in here. And so what a model predictive controller is, is it takes a model that you write and it, it takes the inputs it takes um yeah it takes that model and uses that model to adjust inputs predicting what's going to happen in the future based on that model so it um you've got a trajectory of where you want to be and then according to that model you've got 
where your system is going to be according to what sort of inputs you're changing. And so what its objective is, is to change those inputs um, at the current time and then a little bit into the future in order to match that, pr that trajectory, the desired trajectory as best as possible. And so then it does that and it adjusts the inputs and it, um, it reevaluates all those values um, at certain time points and adjusts and then does that all in hopes to be able to achieve those objectives, in this case being um, different, different temperatures for these thermistors, and it does that by adjusting the different output voltages to either transistor. So this project has really been a good opportunity to learn from a simple thing to apply it to bigger picture because there are many real world applications of estimators and controllers and so right now I'm actually working in a research group the PRISM research group here at BYU headed by Dr. Hedengren and we are in my particular group I'm working with a grad student PhD student named Mustafa and we're working on power grid stability and taking a cryogenic carbon capture system and um, in implementing that into power plants um, being able to model that to be able to see what sort of um, what sort of implications that would have in a power grid um, because in a power grid you have you have changing changing demands throughout the day changing demands and so you've got to you've got to work with those demands and be able to keep enough power flowing to be able to meet those demands but you don't want to produce too much power because then that wastes money, wastes energy. And so using dynamic optimization, using controllers um, and estimators, you can take what's going on in that system, in that power grid, and be able to um, perform at marginal levels to be able to meet your objectives of being able to provide all the power and keep the lights on for everybody, while at the same time being able to maximize profits and so this is just one of many applications in the real world where estimators, controllers, just the study of dynamic optimization can really come into play and make a difference and help, help out with real world situations.